Users will get some kind of help with higher gas prices, but how? Governor Holcomb now says he's preparing a plan to potentially tap into Indiana's growing state budget surplus. He's calling it an inflationary relief plan. Tonight, our Dustin Grove takes a closer look at what that means and why Democrats are still calling for a break on the gas tax. As the price at the pump breaks new records just about every day. Oh, we've been talking about that. Lawmakers and the governor say they're trying to come up with a plan to help. Since March, Democrats have been calling for a temporary gas tax suspension. It's 56 cents per gallon. But this week, Governor Holcomb called that misguided, and fellow Republicans claim it might not help at all. Who's to say that that is transferred from the gas station back to Hoosiers? It probably, last time it happened back in 2000, it wasn't, at least not all of it was, and they don't necessarily have to pass any of that, on, any of that savings on to Hoosiers. GOP leaders said it would also help out-of-state drivers passing through, which wouldn't help Hoosiers. The Democrats' response? Well, that's silly. I mean, they're... <laughs> House Minority Leader Phil Giaquinta says they've studied it. Real Hoosiers that are driving Indiana roads uh, will save money at the pump. Republicans say instead of suspending the gas tax, they're focusing on other ways to provide relief. They mentioned those $125 tax refund checks sent out earlier this year. It's not just in in the gas. It's, it's, in, uh, it's at the grocery store. It's your utility costs. Everything's going up. Governor Holcomb is expected to release a plan next month for what he called inflationary relief but didn't provide any details. Meanwhile, Hoosiers continue to fuel up and pay more, waiting to see what relief will look like.